Hello, welcome to how to make a cow catcher. This is part number nine of the miniature train project and uh, I'm just going to get to it. Uh, I've talked in other videos about how important it is to save things so I'll put that at the beginning of every video again. Um, I'm going to go file, save as and you can see I already have a miniature train project folder and then I've actually made this cow catcher before so I'm just going to name it the same thing. It's going to ask me if I want to write over it which is fine. And start sketch. For those who haven't seen the cow catcher, it's going to be a loft of two shapes. It's very challenging to see what the bottom looks like. I'm going to use symmetry to make it because if you're not really careful, it does some very strange things to put it extremely mildly. So this one goes out 0 0.9 and then another line from here up. This one goes up 0 0.75 that's incorrect 1 and then it goes straight up 0.25 from the side Zero point two five. then it connects so I'm going to make this into a construction line going to select these three lines and I'm going to mirror. So I already selected what I want then I tell it the mirror line then I hit apply and done. Do you have to mirror? Could you draw it yourself? Yes, I really recommend the mirror. Um, there's going to be issues if you don't. So Let's hit the home button and see what we're looking at. Now go out here to origin and expand it and you get planes to pop up. Turns out I want the XY plane, so I right click on it and hit visibility. Then I go up here to plane and I hit offset from plane. Let's click on the plane and it gives me a little arrow. I say I want to offset and this is actually the 0.75 I said before. So I want to build another plane in that one. So we go start sketch and we catch the edge of it. Now I'm building a plane there. So line and this one's a little bit smaller, so we only come over 0 0.6. I believe we still go up 0 0.25. Yep. And I'm okay out of there. And then I'm going to make a line. And this one goes up 0 0.75. It's not as much as the other one. And then I just connect to here. I'm going to make this construction line. I am going to mirror. I'm going to pick my lines. Just realized I screwed up. Delete. Doesn't look like it deleted. Delete. Mirror. Mirror you. Mirror you. Mirror you. Mirror line. My line vanished. Done. I'm going to project a little geometry. I'm going to bring that one forward. Try mirror again. I'd like to point out I'm screwing up, and you're probably like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, that's kind of how this whole engineering class works. You're not supposed to be doing everything perfectly, you're supposed to be learning as you go. So there you go, you have these two. Now I, I am going to take these off now. I'm going to turn the visibility off just because they kind of bother me. The smart move would be to leave it up for a while, but what are you going to do? And now we use the loft. Notice we're in 3D. The loft's right here. We say take the bottom one and loft it to the top one. Hit OK. And there it is. Now I'd actually like to look at the train from roughly this perspective. So I'm going to say set this current view as home and fit to view. So when I hit home, it's going to expand it, give me a nice look. Now I can do a lot of different things. I'm going to save this as I go along. I'm going to work on the front first. And this is pretty cool. You start a sketch on the front. If it doesn't let you make a sketch, that means it's been slightly warped and you can't. It's annoying, but it happens. Project this geometry forward and then offset it. Point 0.1. Finish the sketch and extrude it. 
and it's hard to see we want to cut we only want to cut 0.05 deep so if you zoom in on that you can see it just kind of cuts into it a little bit now I'm going to do the same thing over here I could probably figure out a way to reflect it but I'm not gonna among other things it really isn't that hard to go project geometry offset 0 0.05 finish sketch and extrude so that's really not that hard and we'll cut and that's how much now we also want to hollow out the bottom and this is called shelling so it's really really simple you just find the shell button here it is and you hit the bottom you say shell it toward the thickness of point one which is what I wanted that's it you're done so you can see it carved out the middle curious I usually do these windows later it didn't touch the windows though so that's pretty clutch all right now I think the only thing I have left is to put some pegs on the back so I'll spin it around I'll do a sketch on the back and it's gonna give me all these projected geometries I am going to just draw some circles put one here and by the way, I do all this on purpose. This is the different ways that they do these things. Some people just slap it up, and then they dimension the heck out of it, make sure everything's good. So this dimension, these circles are all 0 0.125, 0 0.125. And that's the diameter, so that should be should be good and then I'm going to dimension each one of them so from here to the center should be doesn't say 0 0.125 so from here to the center 0 0.125 I don't like doing it this way. I would have drawn lines and gone from there, but again, I see a lot of people work this way, so you should be know how to, you should be aware of it. 0 0.625, um, and then from the edge in, hmm, doesn't really say. I can assume they're centered. Yeah, so I got to go find the midpoint. Uh, you know what? I can just start slapping this up between them. It says they are and it keeps picking that dimension point two point it is one point two five and then this one should be on the edge so that should be zero point nine um, something's very wrong here with my 1.25. Let's see if I can fix that. From here to here, should be 0 0.65. So notice how it brought it all back. I think that's a very clunky way to do things. I like to walk, work off of center lines and stuff, but whatever that's how some people do it so you should be aware extrude oh no dose all three I want to take it out 0 0.125 yep and then we got a weird little thing we got a chamfer the edge so where to go chamfer now it's weird it says select edge so I uh, first off I want this one 45 degree angle and 0.01 so we select the edge it gave me the wrong one chamfer edge oh, so it's only going to let me do one at a time that's weird and then so I pick the face and the edge, apply. And you see that's a chamfer. It's been carved off the edge of it. Kind of like taken a file and gone around taking care of it.
apply apply as far as I can tell we are done let's give it a color uh, let's go with blue a uh, no let's go with I'm gonna go with all sorts of metals gold this gold one on the front save it don't ask why and he did home good and save it so that's it that's how you make a cow catcher